Welcome back to another episode on Genealogy TV. My name is Connie Knox, a lifelong genealogist, here to help you go further, faster, and factually with your family research. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss a thing here. Also, if you like what I do, give me a thumbs up and consider becoming a patron of Genealogy TV. You can do so at patreon.com forward slash genealogy TV. Also know that uh, Genealogy TV has a Facebook page, a newsletter, and a website. You can find all those links in the description below. Now, recently on the YouTube channel, I put a post out there asking, it was basically a poll, and I was asking, are you using Ancestry.com, FamilySearch.org, a combination of both, or something other? Well, 22% said they were using Ancestry alone, 7% said they were using Family Search alone, and 67% said they were using a combination of both. And I say, that is smart, and that is the way to go, and I'm going to tell you why. Using Family Search and Ancestry together, why should you do this? Well, the power of the combination together can really amplify your results. And so with Ancestry, you can control your tree. It's 100% your tree and no one's going to mess with it. On Family Search, it is a collaborative tree. Now, some people don't like the idea of a collaborative tree, but I say it is wildly helpful when you are trying to find clues because there's a lot of other people working on those same lines. So there's an opportunity for you to uh, get some hints, if you will, about who is next in the line after you've proven each link along the way. Well, while some of the records overlap between the two services, many of them don't, and the algorithms are different. So when you're searching on Family Search, you might get a different set of results than you do on Ancestry, okay? Now, we're gonna jump into five real examples here in just a moment, but I want you to stick around to the end of the video uh, because I have some more parting thoughts for you that I think you're gonna to wanna to know. So let's jump over to the computer and uh, take a look at those real examples. Okay, so here is the first example that I'm talking about, and I'm over here on Ancestry and I'm in a profile for Joel Davis. I've been working on him for a while and I have drilled down into the marriage index and I found uh, Joel Davis Jr. married Nancy Stanley. This is uh, what I believe to be my ancestor. And what you can see here is that, uh, that the source is Family History Library in Salt Lake City. And then it gives you the option to order a document. Well, I'm telling you, don't order a document until you've checked the uh, Family Search website first, especially when the source is the Family History Library in Salt Lake City. It might be that they actually have an image of the record. So then what I do was I went over to Family Search and I searched the records and sure enough I came up with the record, the marriage record, specifically for this couple uh, that I had uh, discovered on Ancestry. But they didn't have the image, but Family Search did. This is just one example where you can use the power of two together. So the next example is just a simple search, uh, going up to the top and searching records for the same guy, uh, Joel Davis Jr. I plugged in the same information and admittedly, you know, I've got varying degrees of information already on Family Search versus Ancestry, but you can see by uh, the list that a lot of the information is going to be different from one service to the other. So in Family Search, here I've got the, the marriages listed out again. I've got a death record that is popping up that may or may not be related. Uh, we've got the, some census records, uh, more Carolina County marriage information, and it looks like a, a, a Florida death information that may or may not be related. Popping over to Ancestry for that same search, I've got, uh, you know, the person is popping up in other trees. Uh, I usually skip right past that. Now, admittedly, I already have some of the census information in here, but as you can see, this search uh, resulted in some Quaker information and some different possibilities. Some of these are New York State censuses. 
I don't know at this point if he was ever in New York, but it is popping up high on the list. That might be something I should look at. Um, there's a, just a variety of stuff here. Some of it is different. So that's the next tip is, is that it could be just a simple search on both services gives you different information. Okay, now in this example, I want to show you how searching by location can give you different results. In other words, casting a wider net on family search and ancestry when you're using them together. So here we are on family search. And if we hit search and we search and we search the wiki and we drill into the map, we're going to do a search for Alabama records. Okay. We pick it's online records. We want to narrow it down to Alabama. So we're going to pick Alabama. And now we are into a, an Alabama record set. Now here we could click here and see what records are online available for Alabama. You could also drill down into a specific county in Alabama and learn more information. It also gives you here on Family Search, and basically this is the wiki giving you a ton of information about what's available in Alabama. Now, jumping over to Ancestry, the search is slightly different. We search all collections and we scroll down and we click on Alabama. And now we have a set of records that are available for Alabama. Now keep in mind too, you can narrow by region here. So uh, again, you're getting different information on family search and on ancestry. And one of the cool things that I like about uh, family search is when you click through here, a lot of times these little links will give you more information about where they are. Okay, in this example, slightly more complicated, but I wanted to show you uh, something that I discovered along the way while researching uh, this woman. Her name is Nancy Watson Winslow. And jumping over to the hints, I had taken a look and I wasn't sure about this, uh, but I was searching through the hints, actually had done a search and discovered uh, some new information. So I put it in as an un undecided hint so that I could go back later and look at it again. So I discovered that uh, Nancy here, uh, also known as Nanny, uh, is popping up in the Dawes Commission Index, which is an index for uh, five Indian tribes. And so clicking through to that, you can see that she's showing up in 1896 as part of the Cherokee tribe. And here is a case number. Well, there's no information here and there really is no further information other than it tells me what the index is and that the original uh, data comes from the application from the Bureau of Indian Affairs, the Muscogee area office, it gives me a little bit of information, but lastly, the National Archives in Washington, D.C. So then I jumped over to Family Search to dig into their wiki because I, I wanted to know more about this. And I started digging into the Cherokee Indians information. I also was able to dig into the uh, Dawes Commission uh, record information. I'm not going to go through all the searching because it took a little while to find it, but I did find it here on Family Search's wiki. So then what it told me, you know, also gave me a link to the National uh, Archives online, and then I was able to find uh, some more information about the records of the uh, Cherokee Indian uh, and some microfilm information. So now I have a place to go look farther. Uh, if I had stopped with just Ancestry, this is all the information I really had at the time. It does say learn more and it takes me to the search index again. So it, it, it doesn't have a lot of information here and I'm, it's no dig at Ancestry. It's just they at least had the index and Family Search had the information. And lastly, the other thing that you can do to really kind of have the power of both uh, Ancestry and Family Search together is just simply in the tree. When you are going through the tree, and here's Nancy, the same gal that we were looking at a moment ago, uh, you've got all kinds of hints that are, are popping up as well as this is my own tree, right? So I built this 
but popping over to family search here she is again she has a different name here but that is the same lady and we've got a whole different set of of potential record hints that are popping up over here that might provide additional information plus this tree is a collaborative tree so people are working together collaboratively to build this tree and so it might be that there's information over here that uh, you didn't have in your tree even if you're already doing this uh, you don't have to stop with one service you could consider adding others like my heritage find my past some of the other ones to cast a wider net of potential records that you could find as well as take a look at other trees and other people that are using those services uh, that may have the same ancestors that you're researching. They all have uh, records that may cross over, but then again, they're probably, I would say all of them have some unique records specific to those services. Now, a lot of them have free trials. You can try out the free trials on those. And I'll put some links uh, from some of the free trials that I'm aware of in the show notes below. As well as Ancestry's got a free trial. I know some of you are not Ancestry members, and so if that's something you're interested in, um, you can check out the free trial as well. There's affiliate links for all of that down below. If you are interested in Ancestry as a paid account, I think it's $99 a month, no, excuse me, $99 for six months and $149 for the World Explorer. So the $99 version is for US only, and the $149 version is worldwide full tilt boogie for six months. We didn't even talk about the DNA side of it. You can do the same theory, uh, the same technique using DNA, casting again a wider net, but this time you're casting a wider net to catch cousin matches that will help you with your uh, research. Well, I hope that was helpful. Uh, if so, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so that you get notified each time I upload a video. There are other videos on the screen for you right now that may be of help to you. It is time for you to go find your ancestors. So until next time, keep on climbing your family tree.